Welcome back, gamers. Today, we're diving into a budget-friendly controller that might just surprise you. The Hypix Clutch Gladiate. Packed with impressive features and a sleek design, this controller offers excellent value for its price. Let's start with the build quality. The Hypix Clutch Gladiate impresses with its high-quality casing, face buttons, and triggers, all while sporting a sleek red on black aesthetic. It truly stands out from the pack in terms of design. However, there is one notable flaw, the half trigger locks. Unfortunately, these locks often fail to register correctly on both consoles and PCs, which is a letdown. But don't let that discourage you. The Hypix Clutch Gladiate still manages to shine in many areas. Its features rival those of Pro controllers, offering back paddle buttons and hair trigger locks. The build quality is surprisingly good, with textured grips that provide a comfortable gaming experience. The buttons and sticks are satisfyingly tactile, enhancing your gameplay. What makes the Hypix Clutch Gladiate even more appealing is its price point. It's a more affordable option compared to other Xbox Series 10 controllers like the Nacon Revolution X Pro and the 8-bit Do Pro 2 wired controller. If you're on a tight budget, this controller comes highly recommended. However, it's important to mention a couple of drawbacks. The D-pad feels flat and lacks texture, which can be a downside for some gamers. The hair trigger locks are another issue, as they often register inconsistently. As a result, many users choose to leave them off during gameplay. Now, let's talk about availability and pricing. The Hypix Clutch Gladiate can be purchased for 34 rupees and 99 paise from various online retailers starting from March 27, 2023. This makes it a more affordable option compared to other Xbox controllers in the market. Its design and functionality are most similar to Nacon's Revolution X Pro. While the build quality may not match that of the official Xbox wireless controller, the Hypix Clutch Gladiate still feels solid in your hands. It strikes a balance between durability and lightweight design, weighing only 280 grams. The controller's face buttons, sticks, and triggers maintain a high level of quality. The solid plastic face buttons have a subtly bouncy feel, allowing for quick and easy presses. The sticks offer a slightly weighty feel and a concave design. However, the shoulder buttons feel slightly mushier and less satisfying compared to the official Xbox pad. The D-pad, unfortunately, lacks texture and feels flat. The Hypix Clutch Gladiate comes with a 2.95-meter USB-C cable for wired play. While it could be a bit longer, it's sufficient for most gaming setups and PC play. The inclusion of a 3.5mm headphone jack is a welcome addition, making it a great choice for those who prefer wired play. Impressively, the Hypix Clutch Gladiate incorporates several Pro controller adjacent features. It includes two rear buttons that are remappable, allowing you to assign them as secondary inputs. While this is a great feature, it's worth noting that button macros are not supported. One of the standout features is the hair trigger locks. Despite these drawbacks, we still recommend the Hypix Clutch Gladiate controller. Its affordable price, comfortable design, and impressive build quality make it a worthwhile choice for gamers on a budget. While it may have some flaws, such as the inconsistent hair trigger locks and basic D-pad, its overall performance and value cannot be ignored. They often register inconsistently, requiring extra force for trigger presses. While it has its flaws, it remains a solid choice for gamers looking for an affordable alternative. With its comfortable design, tactile buttons, and remappable rear buttons, it offers a satisfying gaming experience. Just keep in mind the potential issues with the hair trigger locks. If you're on a tight budget and willing to overlook these drawbacks, the Hypix Clutch Gladiate is definitely worth considering. And that wraps up our review of the Hypix Clutch Gladiate controller. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming content. And let us know in the comments if you've tried this controller or if you have any questions. Happy gaming, everyone!